Hey guys, Steve here. Well, I've got another video again today and I've got a fair bit of gear out here. I'll just pan this camera around here. So as you can see over here, I've got a heap of stuff over here on the table, but we'll get that intro out of the road, eh? And then we'll get into it. Cheers. Okay guys, we've got a cook up today and I'm using the hillbilly um, wok and no I'm not cooking up a rabbit stew for all those that asked. I know there was a few comments saying they want to see wabbit stew on my first cook up but I'm not going to do it over the coals, we're actually going to do it over the gas today. Um, we're going to cook up some fried rice, so over here you can see got a heap of ingredients, I've got capsicum, diced bacon, um, shallots, peas and corn, carrots and then we've got a heap of different Spices here, chilli, ginger, garlic, cooked up some rice, bit of egg, got some um, sesame oil and some soy sauce. So, Annie over there in the background, say hi Annie. She's going to be um, doing the cooking, I'm going to be doing the recording. So, we'll turn this gas on, eh? And I'm using my partner stove and um, I've got it on the Snow Peak um, table again. And uh, we'll just swing this out of the road. That's what I love about this. You, all you got to do is just grab the pot, swing it around. We'll turn the gas on here. Try and not blow myself up. That is actually going. We'll put the wok back over it. And that'll just take a second to heat up. And uh, we'll get cooking. We just thought we'll uh, try it over a gas first. Um, but you could do this with charcoal or over a fire pit as well pour a little bit of oil in there so she's got the diced bacon there first she's going to fry that off and you can see how quick they heat heated up so we'll turn it down a little bit Now the thing with these sort of things I think is you've got to keep stirring and uh, just keep uh, everything moving in the wok. So if I get the uh, message here in a minute to start stirring, I will. And a little bit more. You want some sesame oil or? Bit of peanut oil, just a tad. Okay, we're going to throw in the uh, spring onions now. So just pouring those in. These little snow peak bowls are really good for this. We take them camping with us. So, hope it'll be a really nice fried rice we're first time using this wok but what i love about it is uh, the way you can just adjust it and move it around so do the same setup if you just had it over uh, some coals or in a fire pit or something like that just get good heat in there uh, any sort of heat source as long as it's a good heat uh, should do the job okay the next thing we're putting in is the ginger chili and garlic so just a what, little couple of teaspoons or that was the ginger so it was two little tiny teaspoons and mix it while you're doing it I've been upgraded to stir and duties I can stir pretty good actually I've been told that oh I can smell that ginger Smells bloody beautiful. Three garlic. Keep the vampires away. Smell good in the middle of the night. And a bit of hot stuff. One and a half of the chili.
Okay, the next ingredient now is the capsicum. So that's just half a capsicum diced up. And uh, we threw that in. So just half a red capsicum. You can make this to how you like it. So whatever ingredients you like, just throw in there, however you want your rice. But a few different things in there don't hurt. Okay, we're going to throw the peas and corns in now, so we just um, nuclear wave them a little bit, but uh, you can use the stuff out of the tins if you're camping. So you can buy those little tins of peas and corn, and all you got to do is throw those on. So we just, when we are camping, we do uh, just carry those around with us and use those. And now we've got a bit of carrot that's all, that was two carrots, and it was just shredded up, so... So that's most of the ingredients there now, except for the rice yeah. and the egg. I'm on stirring duties again. I better not stuff it up while she's gone, eh? So, beautiful day here again. Uh, worked yesterday, um, Sunday now. So we're just uh, relaxing at home and We've got three days of work and then we're on holiday so hopefully I'll have a few videos to show you from when we're uh, away on holidays. A bit of touring stuff, a bit of camping stuff to get away from the cooking and uh, reviews but I'd uh, like to mix it up a little bit to show you a few different things and uh, keep, it a, keep it a bit exciting. So. Just got a bowl to put all this in. Just want the egg? Yeah. Thanks. So she's just going to throw a little bit of egg in here now. You just got to quickly stir this as you pour it in over the heat and get it to uh, sort of break up. It'll stick, but that doesn't really matter because that's what stir fries are all about. Doesn't matter what you get in there, you'll see this starting to break up now and go into a but it'll turn out really good in the end so you start mixing some of the other veggies and all that with it and the egg will break up all through the mix okay we're just going to stir the rice up a little bit now and uh, get it all aerated and uh, but you can cook this um, over your campsite like just boil it up like you normally would do uh, when you're cooking rice over it with a fry pan or with not with a fry pan and in a bowl though but uh, we just cheated a day and did it in the microwave. Okay. So we'll just put a little bit in at a time and then stir it through. And then add a little bit more as needed. Okay. Okay. Bit of salt mm -mm. with soy sauce, I mean, yeah. and a bit of salt we've got here. So, here's our ABC soy sauce, and we've got a bit of a mm. bit of salt here as well. I don't know whether you want any of that other oil in it or not. So the soy sauce and that will give it the salty flavour and give it that real... Uh, no, it won't. It's a sweet one. It's a sweet one, is it? Well, the salt will give it the... Yeah, hit it with the salt. So, 
crack a bit of salt over all this. Tell me when to stop. Yeah. So that's uh, pink rock salt. Okay, you can turn the heat off. I'll have to find my own bloody spoon here and try it myself because I don't think I'm going to get off it any. Mm. I'll tell you what, that's bloody good. That is beautiful. It's got that little bit of a kick with the chilli, but it's got that nice um, salty flavour. But um, I've got to say, we're going to love this wok when we're camping. So look at that down there. Like I said, you don't need to worry about all that stuff on the bottom. That adds a bit of flavour. And uh, really nice. So we're going to go enjoy this now. Um, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll, I'll show you a little bit plated up in a minute and maybe having a bit of a munch, eh? So, cheers, be kind to one another and we'll see you on the next one.